Most days, I'm still a human being. Complete with the growing body, growing mind, two left feet. Most days, this still feels like a good fit. I've learned to use these legs to take purposeful steps, long and leading. Sometimes I fall flat on my face with flair. <laughs> because for me, being human means being clumsy. It also means learning how to make peace. Walking down the street, I count the pairs of eyes that turn to meet mine. It's sad to see that they are few and far between because being human seems to mean being scared of other humans. That's a reality that has never sat well on my stomach. It aches anvils and the bottom of my belly bends bright colors into muted hues. Happiness has always been reaching, but my arms take a look at their long limbs and grow in all the time. At the ends are these hands, meant to hammer or to hold. Being human begs a balance, but the scales tip too often and our fingers close to clench. Letting go of that shit has never been easy. But I know that breaking has never brought any resolution. Some humans yet to learn that fact. I don't understand. None of our temples were built to conquer. That anger is a heavy load no back should have to bear. That empty hand is its really good for waving. But when given the gun, it gains a whole new meaning and bullets weren't forged to give good greetings. Our bodies were never built to be bombs and everyone would know that if you listen to the sound of your own hearts just beating. More times in a single day than all of the hateful words that I was ever taught to say. And I admit that I was not made smart enough to comprehend codes, complex mathematics, but I was blessed with an understanding of very basic equations. For instance, one ear plus one ear, big ones, I got a big one, <laughs> means we should always be listening. At 28 teeth, a mouth and a voice, and there's no reason not to say exactly what you're feeling. Two lips plus two lips very often equals a kiss. And when it doesn't, X amount of sadness, Y number of friends, none of us are ever truly alone. Being human can be so beautiful if you don't let it break you, even when it does. Because most days I'm still a human being, but there are the mornings when I've woken up feeling like so much less. The long days when my genetics took that turn to depression and simple mathematics felt too complex to comprehend. Even on these days, I can still defer to the most basic lesson in anatomy. This is the important part. Our bodies are not accidents. We have all been put together perfectly to perpetuate existence as peacefully as possible in all of the pieces. And everyone have already fallen into place. All that's left is to live.